Do you ever just feel like your stuff is eating you? Because that's how I've been feeling lately. It's been such an issue in my life since I've moved back to LA that it's something I deal with on the daily of how to organize my apartment in a way that makes it feel less cluttered and stress-free. So these are the things that I've implemented into my apartment to help me not feel like my things are eating me from day to day. So there's a couple of things I make sure of when I'm organizing. The first thing is I need to make sure everything has a home. If things don't have a home, they end up where they're not supposed to be and it's stressful. I also make sure that the items I use most are easy to access. I realize if I make it difficult and I have to put something away in a very specific place that's kind of hard to reach, I just won't do it. So ease of access is very important for me. I also wanna make things look visually appealing if possible, because in the end, it's not as overstimulating and it will feel like less clutter. So the first thing was I just realized I had too much stuff and I had too much stuff in boxes that was packed away that was taking up space. What I did was I unpacked everything that was stored away in boxes blankets, towels, pillows, extra decor items, and I displayed everything as if I was going to use it. I don't wanna say this is life-changing, but I feel like it is, and I recommend giving it a try if you've never done it before. In my head, the reason I did this is because I thought, okay, there's no point in me having these things if they are stored away. I'm not talking about seasonal items, that's totally different, but everything else, what's the point of having it if it's in a box taking up precious storage space and after i did that i realized i just had too much stuff and i could see like okay i have eight things on this shelf for this current space i only need three so i got rid of the rest and i just went through my home and i did the same thing i have 14 towels six of them are stained am i saving these towels for the one time something spills and i need that towel and here's a lesson i learned i bought nice towels <laughs> this is such a funny story I bought nice towels, I have stained towels for that what if something happens occasion, right? When my guest was over, she got the nice towel. Well, the toilet overflowed and guess what towel she used to clean it up and guess what towel got thrown away? The nice one. When things like this happen, no one is going to go run to your closet and go look for that stained towel you've been saving for that occasion. So just get rid of the stained towels, I'm sorry. Take them to an animal shelter they will get much better use there. Anyway, so first thing is just a purge. So a drop zone is where your items just accumulate. So for instance, you come in, where do you normally put your keys when you walk in the door? Do you put them on your kitchen counter? Do they go on your dining room table? Where do you put your shoes when you walk in the door? Do they get thrown at the front door? Do they get put in the bedroom? So for me, I noticed that when we walked into the door, our shoes would always end up at the front door, our keys would always end up on the floor, and our bags as well, because we didn't have any sort of table there, we had nowhere to put our stuff, so we just kind of put it on the floor. So what I did to create a drop zone is I got a dresser that contained many drawers. I am able to put my keys in the top drawer. I can put some grocery bags on the dresser when I enter the door, my purse, my water bottle. And as for the shoes, I got a shoe rack that attaches to the back of the door. This holds my partner's shoes and all of my shoes as well, which is amazing. And now our shoes have a place to go and this is where we put our shoes anyways. So it made sense that it was right at the door when we enter and leave the home. Okay, this is a huge one. This is a huge one. It's to simplify your color palette because regardless if you have a very clean, organized space, if you have too many textures, patterns, and colors, it's going to feel cluttered. In my bathroom, I always used different colors of towels, but the thing is, because those towels are on display, you know, you've got gray, you've got blue, it looks less organized. You go into the space, you see all these different colors, your eye is drawn to it. So to simplify it and make it look more organized and cohesive, I just got white towels. It's as simple as that. Another place where I noticed this 
was my living room. I have quite a few throw pillows and I feel like I'm not the only one that's guilty of this. They are different textures and different patterns. I also have a throw blanket that is a brown zebra print and it does not go with the theme of my room, but I still had it out on display because I used it. But every time I kept walking into the living room, it just felt wrong. After I realized I needed to simplify, all of a sudden my space felt a thousand times more organized. So if you have a space that feels like this, pay attention to those three things. The next thing I did was I maximized the vertical space in my apartment. So I would go into each closet and I would be like, okay, what can I do to take up all of this space up high? that's not being used right now. So another thing that happens when you move around a lot or when you just accumulate things over time, you end up with furniture that doesn't work in your space anymore. I highly recommend before you sell anything to look at the item and figure out if you can move around other things in your home and use this as a helpful storage solution. So instead of getting rid of this, I'm going to go put it in my coat closet. Look at this, this is amazing. Now I can properly organize all of my items and reach them whenever I want. Instead of just stacking boxes on top of each other, which didn't make any sense when we needed something at the bottom. If you aren't using your closets for clothes, I couldn't recommend doing this more. In closets like this, you also have the wall as well. Don't forget about that. So for things like tripods, I like to just hang them on the wall. It's out of the way and it's being stored. <laughs> I also maximized vertical space in our hallway by putting all of my artwork there, as much artwork as I possibly could from floor to ceiling. I've created so much space just by getting those paintings off the floor and using up all of that space on the wall. For my closet, I got these cubes from Ikea. I think they were $7 a piece and the one thing I normally don't like about cubes is the fact that when you store stuff in them, you can't see anything that's in them. So the odds of you getting this cube down and going through it, most likely the items you put in here, you're just not going to use because it's so difficult to get to. So what I decided to do was actually use some of the cubes like this for items I do not use year round. And for the items I do use the most, I'm going to flip it like this to take up that vertical space in the top of my closet. And I'm going to store my skirts in here. So that way when I pull them out, it doesn't fall from side to side. And yeah, it's probably going to get a little bit messy, but at least I can see it. At least it's not falling out of the closet and it's taking up a lot of vertical space. And as for my hamper, I'm reusing this and I'm just gonna put it in the top of my closet because it's really tall. So I don't need to see the stuff that's in this all the time. I'm just gonna throw my dirty stuff up there and then I'll get it down whenever I need to do laundry. So this gives me more floor space in my closet to store things that I might need more often. And to take up this area of my closet because I did not want to waste this precious space, I made a shelf and I put some cubes on them. So this one holds my workout stuff. And as for the one down here, this one's very convenient because I can pull it out and I see everything. So this is just a great example of ease of access. But in here, it's a different story. This is what we're working with. So I added hooks where I could put bags. I even added some of my lighting equipment I could hang on the wall, which took up a great amount of space that was not being used otherwise. Another really nice shelf that was in my closet holding all of my art supplies in that really odd corner was this. And I got this from Ikea. I'm not currently using it, so I do plan on selling this, but if you are looking for a way to utilize that vertical storage in your closet or anywhere else in your home, this is a really good option. And as for my door back here, I attached a bunch of hooks to hold my bags. And instead of hanging up all of my belts on one hook, I just put all of my belts into a bag like this and I just hang it on a hook. I personally like doing this better because I can open the bag and grab whatever I want. But when it's on a hook, you have to take all the belts off individually to get what you want. Another example of me utilizing vertical space is by installing this door shoe rack. This shoe rack is incredible because it takes up the entire length of the door and it takes up that odd space that you normally don't really have a purpose for. 
especially if you're not using a closet for clothes, which this is not for clothes, this is just for storage. I put a shelf over our bed to make up for the fact that we couldn't have two bedside dressers. So that way, if we wanted to, we could put water up there, we could put a cell phone up there to charge, and it's just out of the way. I put some shelves on the wall in the kitchen to hold my coffee cups, my tea, my sugar. It's like a coffee making station and it's perfect because it's usable items that get to be displayed and they aren't stored away in my cabinet where I really need my cabinets to store other items. The next thing I did was I did get a couple of organizers. The main one I got was for underneath my bathroom sink. I really liked this organizer because it is a rectangle. It takes up as much vertical space as possible. I didn't technically need this, okay? I did have a couple of boxes there, but the issue was it wasn't easy to access anything I needed. And just having my things now on an organizer where it's just easier to access everything and I can see everything I own, I'm now actually able to use the things I own which I wasn't doing before because I just didn't want to pull it out. And it doesn't look like a huge mess. If you make it really difficult for yourself to put things away, you just never will. Another organizer I got was from Ikea and it's just a suction cup shelf that holds our shampoo, body wash, and conditioner in our shower. It's super inexpensive and convenient. I started putting all of my lids in a box. So before I would have my lids in different areas of the cabinet for specific things, but now I realized it's just much easier to put all of my lids here and then I don't need to organize it. I know the lids are here. I just pull it out, I go through, I find the lid and I put it back. This is really a lazy person hack, but I find that it works wonderfully and I suggest you give it a try. And lastly, I feel like people know about this, but a shelf riser in your cabinet space is great because this space is quite large. It's good for tall cups like a mason jar, a wine glass, yeah, but your plates aren't gonna be stacked this high if you didn't have this. So it's a good way to separate them so it's easier to access and to organize better. Something else I purchased recently was a sink cover. I love this thing. I love it. It gives me more counter space. I can fold it up and it can be put away super easily. I can wash my vegetables on it. I can dry more plates on it if my drying rack is full. When I'm cooking, it is that extra counter space I need and I cook every single day. It's very convenient and I love it. Couldn't recommend it enough. Something else I did in my closet to organize it more and give me more space is I hung up absolutely everything that I could. Something I invested in, which is an amazing investment and it's not even expensive, is I got these, I got this pant hanger. Look at that, it's amazing. It holds nine pairs of pants, but I have pants double stacked, so it, it holds a bit more. It takes up minimal space in my closet and it allows me to see everything. So whenever I want a pair of pants, I can see it easily. It's not tucked away in a cube. Another really good item I found was a paper towel holder that goes on the door of a cabinet. Unfortunately, it does not work in this current space because of the way the cabinet door is made, but it's worked in every other space I've lived in and it's the most genius idea. Now, when it came to other places in my home, when it came to where do I store my towels? Where do I store some of my arts and crafts items? Where do I store my light bulbs? So I organized all of my items in my kitchen drawers and cabinets by my active items and my passive items. My active items are the ones I use the most, like my utensils are gonna go in the top drawer. And then my least used items, which are my passive items, are gonna go at the very bottom because I rarely need to access that. So my light bulbs, my candles go in the bottom drawer. I only need those if I need to replace a light or if I need a new candle to light, stuff like that. So this is a really good organization system for organizing anything in your home and I find it to be super helpful. The next thing I did in my home was I utilized odd spaces. One way I showed you I already did this was by hanging my lights for shooting in my closet on the wall. Because normally those lights take up so much space when they're just sitting on the ground. It's a very like 
odd shaped item. So hanging it on the wall is taking up space that would never get taken up otherwise. Another odd space I had was in my bathroom. So I took a cabinet I made and it happened to fit right in the corner, it was perfect. Just gives me a little extra space to toss my clothes. This is kind of like a drop zone for me when I'm showering, I throw my clothes there. Another odd space I utilized was under my bed. And if you feel like your bed isn't tall enough to actually hold items, get bed risers. It's a super simple way to fix that problem and to store more stuff. And the last thing that I did was I discovered that I just needed more closed storage. Open storage means no storage. You still see everything that you're trying to hide. It's items you're not using all the time. There's no point in seeing it. It works in some spaces, but when your space is small and it already feels cluttered, it's the last thing you wanna do because it's going to be stressful and overstimulating. This filing cabinet is one of my main closed storage solutions, and this holds the majority of all of my art supplies without looking like an eyesore. You can't see everything, it's hidden away, it's white, it's nice and clean, and everything in here is organized by active items and passive items. And in our office space, because this is where we hold the majority of our items, we got more closed storage solutions to hold my partner's things as well. And the last thing I did is in my kitchen, I have a drawer that is dedicated to items I want to declutter. If I happen to go through my home and I see something and I feel like it needs a new place to live, <laughs> I will go and put it in that drawer. And once that drawer fills up, I will take it to Goodwill. I don't know, I guess that's it. Those are all of the things I have done in my home so far. I know there are improvements to be made, but I'm really trying to do things that work for me and that make sense for me. And hopefully some of these things make sense for you too and it helps you out. Let me know what your favorite tip was, what you found the most helpful. And I think that's it guys. Now I'm just like, I, I just want to go and declutter today. That's how, that's how I feel right now. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.